What is up folks, Z here, and today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be trying this uh, Minecraft One Block One Life mod. Um, should be interesting. And just like that, we got our first buddy here. Um, we're going to go ahead and name him Preston. I don't know how long Preston's going to be around, but hey, you made it into the video. All right, so first night and embarrassingly, this took me forever to figure out how to even get my water up. Uh, later on, I found out that you could just use a bowl, but hey, it is what it is. We play, we learn. All right, so after our first night, I decided we might wanna increase our platform size just a little bit. Felt like we were getting a little crowded on that tiny little island there. Just kept sending me more and more animals. I didn't have any room to put them, so. Let's uh, let's make them their own little island, why not? Whoa, and it happened. The first jump scare of the playthrough, everybody. I was not expecting uh, some friends this early on in the playthrough, but hey, let's go ahead and you know, whoop some ass while we can. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? All right, guys, so night, I don't know, three, four is done now. Uh, we decided to finally kind of finish out this platform. We finished out the, uh, I don't know, stable yard area for the oh, farm animals geez. on the other side. Uh, let's just continue mining on.
Okay, so now that we have a kind of house built, it's good enough to keep, you know, the creepy crawlies out at night. Kind of. I mean, they can, you know, it, whatever. It's temporary, so it shouldn't matter that much. But anyway, let's, um, let's break some blocks for a little bit, and then we'll see about moving on to the crop. Um, believe me, I know that thing is ugly, but again, this is all temporary. Uh, we just need it to be good enough to, you know, last us for, uh, a few days anyway. Alright, benevolent gift. Uh, we got a trident. Two bucks a fish. Right on. Alright, and at that, that ends uh, this stage. Right on. Uh, we survived this. And now we're going to move on to kind of filling out what our platform is going to be. Because this uh, mismatched mumbo jumbo is kind of driving me nuts. Whoa! All right. Ah, uh, shit. Where's my sword? Oh shit! They just hit each other with the. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, let's at least try to kill one, and knock one off. Well, shit. I guess that works out. Um, what did we get for all this anyway? Uh, I, I don't know. And I'm dying. Moving on. Let's finish out uh, this platform. Or at least attempt to, anyway. I don't know if I got enough stone for this. Uh, we made a pretty large platform. I think it's 25 by 25. Oh, hey, look. Awesome. A far oh, he fucking, he's got my diamond. Get back here. I'm 
Yeah, it serves you right for stealing my diamond. I think that's my first one. I ain't gonna steal it. Ah, great. Now we got these guys in here. Ah, this is gonna be a load of fun. But, I mean, since he's here, we might as well build him a house, right? As long as he can live in it, doesn't mean it has to look comfy. But, hey, it's a house. So, let's go for a ride so you can uh, see your new house here, bud. Hope you enjoy it. I put uh, a lot of work into it. Yeah. Okay, I felt like we just had to kind of break up the color here. Everything is so gray and boring and it's, it's, I don't know, it's just driving me crazy. So I thought it'd be neat to toss in some of these mossy cobblestones just spaced out here. Now. Let's just continue on with these phases. Um, I feel like we've built out the platform enough. What the fuck what was that? Whoa! Um, well, this is new. Ah, well, they don't look to be too smart. I mean, they're just kind of standing around. I thought for sure I'd be getting my ass kicked by now. But uh, let's go ahead and whoop some ass. Well, we've got these other two villagers just kind of roaming around here. They're just fucking in the way, so we might as well just build them two houses. Seeing as how the first guy was kind of a pain. But it's worth building the house anyway. And just like that, we've moved on to the nether. Let's see what the nether has in store for us. I think after this, we might take a break and do a little bit more building. But we'll see what it, this brings us. Things were going relatively smooth. I mean, we had a couple of zombie piglins jump out trying to attack us. We had uh, this hoglin here, you know, trying to give us the old hogan dos. But just when you think everything is going fine, of course. Something always has to happen. Not one, but two gas. Just here to give me, you know, the old checkup to see if I've died lately. Spoiler, I hadn't until now. It was at this point that I rage quit and I didn't play for two days. <laughs> um, but. Boy, was I glad when this stage was over. I, the nether threw so much enemies all at once. It was just one huge pain in the ass. Ah, but see, what did you do after you were done with the nether stage? Well, of course, you know, I built a portal and went to the nether. What else am I going to do? I mean, the opportunity was there to get off of our island and go explore a little bit so I kind of jumped at the option sure it was the nether sure I was sick and tired of the nether and getting my ass kicked but here we are
Alright, alright. Now that we've had our fun in the actual nether, let's, uh, let's do something a little practical. We have a lot of surface to cover. You can only chop down so much trees before the game really makes you just want to blow your brains out. So, what better to do than make a cobblestone generator? Let's get this thing built and uh, maybe use it. Alright, so now that we've got that working, we're going to use it for a bit and then move on to building our, uh, I guess we'll call it a storage room. That's ultimately what I ended up using it as, even though uh, it started off organized and then quickly became a disorganized mess, as all things do. So, here's a look at the storage room. Um, like I said, this is kind of what it just turned into. Nothing more, nothing less. And then let's just go ahead and let's take a tour. Cobblestone generator with a you know, skeleton horse on top. A nice hole in the ground. There's the farm pin animals where they've always been. The pool that's frozen over. Uh, the villagers, you know, little shacks. And then the big house. Now the big house is something that I'm particularly happy with. You have the main floor that you walk into when you first go up the steps. And then my favorite piece is where I relocated the portal and made it look as if the nether was reaching out into the house. And we were finally at the end stage. I was so happy to be here after playing this for such a long time. Uh, a, it was a great playthrough. I really enjoyed it, but B, it was, I'll give it to the Minecraft YouTubers. They put in some hours, man. So we had the portal spawn in below us. I built a small staircase up to it, went and grabbed the Eye of Enders, and we jumped in, man. Jumped in. I had to kind of build a platform over to the end island. I just cut that out because, you know, you've seen me destroy and place enough blocks at this point. Um, but we had gotten geared up uh, through the villagers, the little bit of villagers that we did have. Um, I grinded for a few hours trying to get a mending book, but ultimately just settled with, uh, Unbreaking 3. But anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Let's fucking kick this dragon's ass. Alrighty guys, well, after a few days worth of playing, here we are, we've reached the end of this, uh, this video. It was really interesting to see a different way to create a video. Uh, actually, I learned a lot from this one. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to leave me a like. I worked super hard on this video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. 
if you want more be sure to let me know in the comments below and as always guys i'll see you in the next video peace mm -hmm.